the debate is on about genetically engineering salmon eggs with a gene that will make them reach full maturity in half the time it normally takes. A business professor says as long as grocery stores label the salmon as genetically altered, this is just business as usual in the technology-driven world we live in. Technology is moving forward. We're trying to provide a better world. The question is whether or not a business is going to honor its duty to preserve the long-term interests of society while making a profit and adding value long-term. Another UGA professor says there's always risk involved in genetic engineering, but in this case, as with others, tests are showing the benefits outweigh the risk. If you could make a chicken or uh, a pig or a cow that uh, is disease resistant, and uh, could introduce that into sub-Sahara Africa where their lives depend on these animals. If they lose their animals, they're, they're destined to a life of poverty. And if you could uh, use this technology to help be, bring people out of poverty, um, I think those are great applications. Many people argue that we already eat many genetically produced foods and that if the FDA should approve this, it's still up to each and every consumer whether they want to eat the salmon or not. Genetically engineered food just doesn't sound very appealing to me. Um, just more natural things are more very appealing. I think it will be safe to eat. Uh, I will certainly, if I have the opportunity to eat salmon that is uh, safe, uh, I will eat that. I love salmon, I, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> if approved, this altered salmon will be the first genetically engineered animal available for human consumption. Rachel Garrett, WNEG News, Northeast Georgia.